Hello everyone, thank you for watching Mad Trucks with Marcos and today we are checking out this beautiful 2018 Ram 2500 and it is a limited. This truck was built by Kelderman Air Suspensions and it really is one of the nicest trucks I've seen and uh, we're gonna go through it, check it out, I think you're gonna agree. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. It allows us to do more cool stuff and you can check out any of our custom truck inventory at cunistcountrytrucks.com. Alrighty guys, so like I mentioned, it is a 2018 Ram 2500. Uh, this is a crew cab and it does have the Ram boxes on there. Um, and it is a limited trim, so what that means, this is as fully decked out as these trucks get. It's got basically every option on it. Um, so that was a great place to start. And then it went to, I believe it's Oskuska, Iowa, um, where the uh, Kelderman trucks are built. Um, we build a lot of stuff here in house, but when it comes to a suspension like this, it's really great to have it built by the people that are actually manufacturing the suspension. So we sent them the truck and then uh, we have to wait a little bit, but uh, we get this, a finished product, everything done by them and it looks absolutely great. So it's got their um, five to six inch air suspension on it. I'm gonna talk about suspension first cause that's really what's gonna make this truck stand out from any of the other lifted ones on the road. So when they say five to six inch air suspension in the Keldermans, that means that at ride height, it's gonna be roughly a five to six inch lift. Uh, right now where it's at, I actually have it jacked all the way up. So it's the equivalent of about a nine inch suspension lift. Um, as you can see, it makes the 37s actually seem kind of small when it's all the way up. Um, but the reason that it doesn't have way bigger tires on it is because you can actually drop it all the way down to only one inch higher than, than a stock ride height. Um, so that's really nice. It's great to have a monster truck when you want to show it off or, uh, you know, when you want to be actually do some off-roading stuff. Um, it is great to have that, but at the same time, going through a parking structure, maybe getting in your garage door, you know, stuff like that. It just makes it uh, very livable and able to have a big truck like this and be, still be able to use it every day. Um, so their, their suspension is great. Can't say enough about it. We'll show a little bit of it going up and down and then the controller inside. Um, but it was really great stuff. Airbags all the way around. If you wanted to, you could go in and, and change them individually. Um, they give us a couple presets, which we'll go through in a little bit, but uh, it's really all top notch stuff. So I'll talk about the wheels and tires while we're here up front. So it's got a 37 by 12 and a half on 20 inch wheel Toyo Open Country MT. Uh, the Toyo Open Country MT is really a great tire. Uh, we found that even on these heavy duties, uh, Pete, you know, our customers get great mileage out of them. Um, obviously, if uh, your tires get chewed up in 10, 20,000 miles and you just bought a truck, you're probably going to be upset about that. So we do make sure we put the best stuff on there. Uh, so see the Toyo Open Country MTs, um, and then you got a 20 inch, it's a, I believe it's a 20 by 10. Uh, I could be wrong on the width, but I believe it's a 20 by 10. Um, actually, no, I'm looking at it, it could be 20 by 12. Um, fuel, uh, black, it's a gloss black with the milled accents. It's really nice. I'm not sure the name of this particular wheel, but it's, it reminds me of the Fuel Maverick, uh, except for in the Maverick, these spokes are completely, you know, they're completely straight and it's nice to kind of see that angle in there. Um, it makes them really pop, especially on a black truck. Um, they do look really great. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go around to the front of it because uh, another thing that they did, and uh, we have had trucks from Kelvin that don't have the bumpers on them, uh, but this one being fully decked out, we went ahead and got the bumpers on them. And you can't really tell in person, but the paintwork is amazing uh, on these bumpers. And uh, they're really top notch. Some of the, the nicer ones I've seen out there. And on this particular truck, I think that's what really makes it stand out. Um, it's a painted to match the, the truck. So I believe it's like a brilliant crystal metallic. So in person, you can see the metallic flake in it. And then, um, I mean, the body works just great. Uh, everything looks really good. The fit is really nice. Um, and then you do still have um, openings up front. They put a light bar in one, but you do still have openings for cooling that you need. Um, so it's really nice to kind of have the sensors integrated in there. 
so you still have parking sensors in the front and rear of this. Uh, and then for the fog lights, it's got dual rigid industries. I think they call those like a two by six. Um, and it's just a really nice way to light up the road in front of you. Sometimes they work great on road, but if you just need more light off road, um, it, they're also nice for that. And you don't have to have, you know, a big light bar across the windshield. You'd have a couple small lights here and then a small one in the bumper. Nice and clean. You're still going to get a lot of lighting. I do want to point out, I really like their um, emblems. It's kind of nice. You see a lot of stickers out there. So to have a nice piece of uh, metal on there with milled out. Um, and it also grows great with this truck because you have the black and polished accents. Being the limited, so you got the chrome grill up front. Uh, the chrome trailer tow mirrors are an option. They were added onto here just to kind of complete the look of the truck. But then you have uh, the chrome accents on the windows, the door handles, the body side molding on the bottom for the limited. Um, so it, it is nice to see some polish on there. There's a lot, Matt and I were actually just talking about it. You know, there's so many trucks that are all blacked out, which looks great. Um, but it's also nice every once in a while to see a truck that's got some polish on it. And um, yeah, I mean, it really, uh, this truck really stands out going down the road or even in a parking lot full of uh, 400 trucks. Uh, this one stands out. I just want to pop open the Ram box. Um, Ram, you know, if you've been around Rams or a truck with a Ram box, I'm sure you're very familiar with it, but the people that haven't, these Ram boxes are nice. Um, you get a lot of easy access storage in the side of the bed. There is drain plugs in the bottom of this, so you know you could throw muddy stuff in there, hose it off, and let it dry off on the way home. Some people will say that um, you know you lose a little bit of bed space, and that's true, but it doesn't go any farther than where the wheel wells would have gone. Um, so it's it's a little bit of a sacrifice, but a lot of people find it's really not as inconvenient, um, you know, as you think. And it's actually really nice to have them on both sides. So in the back, there's also a lot of stuff going on in the suspension. And um, yeah, you can just tell by looking at it, everything they use is super heavy duty. All the welds are very nice. Everything's nice and tidy. And um, yeah, you know, you can buy a truck like this, you know, with warranty and, you know, they build it to a quality where, you know, we're comfortable, you know, giving our customers warranties on a truck like this, where a lot of people don't like to do warranties on anything aftermarket. Um, but when you're, you know, dealing with a great company and they're building top quality stuff, uh, we have no problem doing that. So around to the back, you might be able to get the a paint a little more there since it's directly in the sunlight. Um, but they also did the rear bumper on it as well. And again, the paint just looks great. Um, they put the parking sensors in there. They have these nice steps here, which right now all the way up, um, you know, makes it a little more manageable to get in there than it would be stepping all the way up here. When the truck's all the way down, it's actually a really nice spot to step up in there if you were unloading some stuff. Um, and of course, uh, this truck came uh, with the trailering packages, all that stuff. Um, so we have the receiver there. Underneath the receiver, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, you'll see that we actually have uh, an outlet there where we can hook up an air gun if you wanted to air up some tires, if you had some equipment that needed some work. Um, you can use air tanks and uh, air compressor in this truck for other purposes than just working your suspension. You can actually plug a hose right in there and uh, you know take care of an emergency if that uh, did so happen to come up. So that's another nice thing that you know, in the Kelderman truck, since they have the air technology, it was real easy for them to work that in there. And, um, you know, that might save you in a pinch. And then on the top here, of course, to go with all the other chrome accents that we have, um, the Ram on the back and then the limited trim just looks really nice. And then they just finished it off with a, a black exhaust tip on the back. Uh, because of the warranty and emissions and all that stuff, this truck does not have an exhaust. It's got a nice Magnaflow tip on there. Um, but, uh, you know, you're buying something brand new. Uh, we don't modify the diesels too heavily uh, just because they have, I mean, this truck's got like 900 foot pounds of torque already. Um, so, you know, there's really no need for it. If you wanted to, you obviously could, um, but as this truck sits, it's a great daily driver, work truck, family vehicle, really whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, one thing I didn't mention, and while we're here, of course, we added the Amp Research Power Running Boards to this. Um, which even here, you know, with a truck all the way up, it still makes it, you know, doable to get in this truck and it's not, it's not that crazy. Uh, of course, um, you're probably not getting in and out of it too much when it's all the way up. So if this was down another three, four inches, it makes it really easy. And I'll actually show that when I drop it down, uh, how low the board actually is. Um, so uh, yeah, why don't we do that? I'm going to go through and uh, we'll just kind of show you a couple of different positions.